What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake and in today's video, we're going to talk about the difference between free power and unlimited power and how that would determine what coin is the most profitable to mine for you. So I know that this may sound a little bit confusing, but hopefully by the end of the video, it makes a lot more sense. And the reason that I wanted to make this video is because I know some of you out there fall into these two categories. So when I talk about free power, what I mean is a specific amount of power for free per month or per year. And then when I say unlimited power, what I mean is just that unlimited power, but for a specific amount of time. So let me give you a couple of examples here. So first of all, the average home uses about 29 kilowatt hours per day, which is the equivalent of 886 kilowatt hours per month, or roughly 10,632 kilowatt hours per year. So let's say, for example, you have a landlord and the landlord says, you know what, to make it enticing for people to live here, I want to offer free electric, but I want to make sure that people don't take advantage of me. So I'm going to give them a specific amount of power for free. And in this example, he's giving you roughly 10,000 kilowatt hours per year, right? And when it comes to unlimited power, what I mean by that is some electric providers are going to give you things like weekends free or perhaps even nights free. Or some may even provide nights and weekends for free. So in these instances, it really does make a difference on what you should mine as far as profitability is concerned. And I've created a little spreadsheet to help explain what I mean by that. So I'm sure some of you out there, let's say your landlord provides you free electric up to a certain point, you're gonna pull up a website like hashrate.no or perhaps even what to mine, and you're gonna change your power cost down to zero, and you're probably going to mine whatever is at the top of the list, right? But there is a difference, and let me show you why. So I created this spreadsheet and I've got two examples here, one with specific amount of free electric and another with unlimited free electric. So we've got a few different coins here. We've got Caspa, we've got Flux, Dynex, Nexa, Alephium, Radiant, and Ergo. So I'm using a single 3070 in this example. Actually, I shouldn't say a single. We'll get back to that here in just a moment. But we're using a 3070 the price of the coin at the time of recording, which by the way, I'm recording this at about 4 p.m. on Sunday, March 26, 2023. And then we have how much power for each of these GPUs for each coin. So in this case, Caspi uses about 62 watts and it generates approximately 10 coins per day. And then Flux is gonna use about 130 watts, generates about 0.11 coins per day and so on. So in this example where you have a specific amount of free electric, what we're doing here is we're taking the power and we're trying to figure out how to get exactly 1000 watts used per month or uh, 10,000 kilowatt hours per year. So this would be about 33 watts a day. And as you can see, all of these algorithms are using the exact same amount of power per day and per month. And here we can see the amount of coins yielded, the USD value per day, and then the USD value per month. And in this case, CASPA yields the most amount of USD per watt, okay? And then the least profitable thing to mine is going to be ergo uh, and then we've got flux second least profitable and so on these are kind of color coordinated here if you will now what is a little bit out of place in this is the quantity of gpus now as you can tell they're not whole amounts and obviously you can't use half a gpu but i wanted to make this comparison across the board equal 
so that we could see what is the best thing to mine per watt. And in this case, CASPA is absolutely crushing the rest of the algorithms. Now, that should tell you, if you have a specific amount of power that's given to you for free, then CASPA would be the most profitable thing to mine with that set amount of free electric. But what if you're on one of those plans that gives you unlimited power for a specific amount of time? Now your eyes have probably already gravitated towards the bottom of the spreadsheet, but let's take a look. So CASPA prices are the same. The GPUs and the quantities are the same. The power is the same as what we have above, but the amount of power that you're using is going to be drastically different. So for 103070s mining CASPA, we're going to use approximately 620 watts continuously per day, which would be 18,600 watts continuously per month, or to put it in another words, 18.6 kilowatt hours. And then as far as the amount of coin that we're yielding, we're getting 187 CASPA per day, or in the case of Nexa, 392,000 and so on. Now, what does this equate to in USD value? Well, in USD value, uh, for CASPA, it'd be $3.44, for Flux, $2.86, and so on. As you can see, Nexa is on top. And... And in this case, we're not concerned with the amount of USD per watt because we have unlimited power for a specific amount of time. And in this case, Nexa is going to come in on top at $125 a month in revenue, but CASPA is not too far off in second place, followed by Dynex in third and it looks like Radiant is coming in fourth, and you can tell the rest. But I just wanted to make this video because, like I said, I know there are a few of you out there that fall into these two categories, and you may not have been aware of what coin makes the most sense to mine depending on your circumstances. But perhaps after viewing this video, it's a bit more clear. Anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed the content. Do me a favor before you go, please hit that like. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. And I'll see you on the next video.